More than a decade ago, Dutch teenager Boyan Slat's TED Talk went viral as he discussed a contraption he developed from a high school research project to clean the ocean. Get all the plastics out and simultaneously remove tons and tons of persistent organic pollutants from the marine environment. Today, at the age of 30, Slat is announcing that he believes his new ocean cleanup system has the capability to clean up the entire Great Pacific garbage patch. Now, system 3 is truly massive. It's, uh, it's about 1.4 miles in length, which uh, is roughly the, the same length as, uh, as the Golden Gate Bridge. And when it's deployed, it sweeps an area the size of a football field every five seconds. Using a system with two wings that acts like a funnel to bring plastic toward the center, the ocean cleanup has already made 22 trips that have cleaned up 17 square kilometers and removed 1 million pounds or roughly 454,000 kilos of trash. And on this ocean cleanup vessel, you can see all the plastic waste that has already been compressed and compacted, ready to be shipped for recycling. And over here, there is a fresh batch you can see all the ropes and nets from the fishing industry comprising about 60 to 65 percent of the plastic waste. Just five years ago, you wouldn't have been able to really clean up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch because that technology didn't exist. Slat says his nonprofit is now using AI powered cameras on bridges to measure how much plastic is flowing into the ocean. They're also planning to take AI use one step further. Take drones, fit them with those AI powered cameras and scan the surface area around our cleanup system so we can identify the hotspots, the places where the highest concentrations of plastic are, uh, so that we can actively steer our cleanup systems through those hotspots and with that, tremendously reduce the amount of time and money we need. Getting to this point has not been easy as Slat admits his earlier versions tried to do too much too soon. He says those systems failed to collect garbage because they tried to use the force of the ocean to bring the trash to their system, as opposed to just using boats to tow it through the waters. So many mistakes over the years, and um, we had so many near-death near experiences. But um, I think in a way that's perhaps why we are here today, because we didn't stop. We also weren't afraid to just try things. I really hope that, that more young people will see what we're doing and be inspired to you know, solve the problems that they care about. The ocean cleanups models predict that with a fleet of systems, they could eliminate the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in five years at a cost of $4 billion. Slat says if that sounds like too much, he calculates that's about the same amount spent on military expenditures in the last 10 hours, and less than a quarter of a percent of the net worth of the 10 richest people on Earth. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.